Those who have worked for the rich. What is a product or service we would never guess exists? Call handyman style person not exclusively him. We worked for other people too. For him, but predominantly it was his teenage daughters who would call us to help with stuff as he was usually overseas. There were lovely girls, but they were completely lost in terms of perspective. They would frequently call us up to do stuff like mount a giant TV screen. Just for one night, then fix everything, so there was no evidence. They had done it. I got called to capture a harmless spider for her which was in their patio area. So many other things. The list was endless. Many very rich people have large houses in farm countries they visit once in a while when they feel like it or are on a business trip in the area. While they ray away there is a whole staff taking care of the property throughout the year, keeping it clean for the off chance of the owner visiting. I once worked as a gardener in one of those properties. I was brief that everything has to be perfect every day. There was no margin for error. This was checked by a foreman every single day. I worked there for three years. The owner never visited. An uncle of mine is pretty rich. Not super loaded but solidly upper middle class. Back in the very early 2000s he was due for a colonoscopy. And his doctor's office offered the option of buying recording of the procedure on DVD. My uncle was just as confused about this as I assume everyone reading this comment is. Sibley being of some use as a record of the procedure. The only possible explanation for this situation is just because DVDs were still new and cutting. Edge at the time and it was just a novelty thing. Obtainium, or AI systems that monitor the vital signs of the owner and play music based on their stats and time of day, or special gadgets and creative home ideas that would make life better and easier. Instead I just keep hearing that they buy more, which seems as if it would just make life more complicated and need even more stuff to manage the other stuff. Sounds exhausting. Probably not a big shock. But I met a girl once who was a personal assistant. She was one of a team of three for a very rich couple. When she said personal assistant, I assumed it was at a business, but no. It was all just personal stuff. It organized every aspect of the couple's day-to-day -day life. If you were friends of the couple, you even called one of these staff to invite them around to your house for a friendly casual dinner, as any group of friends might. But they went through the staff to book it. Wild. The owner of the company has three assistants, one of whom is a man who mostly runs the owner's errands and hauls his dogs around for him. He's got three bottles of the medicated shampoo one of the dogs needs for when they go get bait and groomed if they need it every Tuesday. Sometimes the dogs really need the bath after being on the ranch all weekend. I've also heard stories of the owner's favorite dog seriously. The man has companies named after the dog being flown to or from the ranch alone on the plane. I once did some work for a couple who own a yacht building company. In their master bathroom, there was a closet with seven shelves. One for each day of the week. On each shelf, there was a pair of pyjamas and a matching set of towels and a washcloth for each of them. It was something my middle class self would never have thought of. This was years ago. And I have never forgotten it. A small example of having exactly what you want, perfectly organized by someone else. Used to work as a roadie for a labor hire company we'd get hired to move heavy things during set, up packed down for large festivals and concerts. One time I was part of a crew hired to set up for a bank CEO's annual Christmas party one of the big for Australian banks. We built a whole goddamn temporary restaurant on his tennis court, floating wooden floors, timber frame tent, the lot. With enough money you can have the party you want. Ultra wealthy families have a family office that takes care of everything across the globe. At the bottom end this may be a single full-time person who supervises part-timers and contractors. The larger offices have multiple full-time staff who handle finances, real estate management, travel, social obligations, charitable giving, etc. There are actually trade association conferences for the people who work in this field. Wild, isn't it? I once drove gourmet food delivery and visited an estate with groves of olive trees, several worker houses, and a massive mansion a mile off the main road. Once I got there I delivered a single box. Within the box was a specific kind of hot sauce we offered. I reflected a lot on the sort of person who gets a delivery service to bring them a bottle of hot sauce.
Yard Vacuuming Service. The billionaire owners of the company I worked for hired the most expensive landscapers in town to vacuum the yard on the day. They let go an entire department of the company a few years ago. So as people literally bawling their eyes out carried their shit out to their cars, they had to walk past the people literally vacuuming the lawn. Sat next to a guy on a plane who traveled the world creating holiday plans for ultra-wealthy client. He had to go stay at each hotel to test them out and try the activities and everything. He loved travel and organizing anyway so he just upgraded and got paid for it. But after a few years it got lonely because you're always on the move and in new places. When they sell a house they get someone in to remove all personal effects and furnish it. L looks like a hotel all bland, and that they couldn't live that way but people don't realize that it isn't how the owners actually lived it has purposely been made like that for the selling process. Line standards. Sometimes it's unavoidable you need to be in long queue, and when your time comes, you need to be there yourself. Enter line standers. They literally just stand in lines for whomever pays them to hold a spot. When the line gets close, they call or text the person and tell them to come on down. That's the whole gig. The rich moms in my city hire people to get through every unpleasant milestone for their children. You can hire to potty train your kids or teach them how to ride a bike. There's even people they will hire to meet with their kids and find a sleepaway summer camp to match their kids' personalities. I dunno. My best poor man's guess that I've experienced is landscaping. I took a rototiller to my boss's yard only for it to firm up, and him pay for another half day's labor to do it again a few months down the road. Among other things, he had a lot of make work projects to keep us busy during the quiet times. Really good guy. Bespoke eye glasses that are completely custom crafted to suit your face and comfort level. It actually sounds amazing as a person who wears very strong prescription glasses that get kind of heavy even with thin lenses. However, aside from the cost, I change scripts often to be worthwhile. I just read about a service that would help your kid get into elite colleges for $120,000 per year. Examples of advice they gave included nuggets like get at least 1560 on your sat and start a blog so you can say you're passionate about environmentalism. So all I can say is I respect the hustle. There was service which delivered current movies in the theater via Koyo on a hard drive for you to play at home in their proprietary player. I know one went belly up and another one popped up. Not sure if the new ones lasted given how quickly movies come to digital these days. You can get paid well i.e. up to a million US dollars to not buy a private jet. If you have ordered one they can take years to get built and yours is about to get built. Someone can offer you dollar for the build slot through slot brokers. Basically a big timeline stander. Me, I am a house manager personal assistant. The fact that my client pays me $60 an hour to fold her husband's underwear, cut vegetables, and handle maintenance is crazy. Obviously, I do do some other things as well. But yeah, me. I work for lovely people and get paid well. We knew a guy with a big lot of land with its own vineyard. He bought it with the vineyard and had no plans for it. Someone comes regularly to collect the grapes and turn them into wine. He gets a cut of the sales and doesn't have to do anything. I've now met three people in my lifetime to wealthy. One not who paid pretty good money to have prosthetic testicles surgically inserted into their dog's empty scrotum after having them neutered, just so the dog doesn't feel emasculated lol and the country and the world. They often pay an accountant or assistant to track the time they spend in each location so they can travel as needed to reduce their tax liability as much as possible. There's a mega rich woman who has this thing with noses. She found a guy who has just the right length and downward curve to his nose. He gets paid absurd money to boop her butthole with his nose. That's it. Just kinda boop it a bunch. A guy I went to college with was employed for a number of years in Dubai as an automotive caretaker. His whole gig was to wash, drive, and maintain the billionaire's collection of super exotic cars, motorcycles, and other toys. I worked for a mega rich person as their dog concierge. My job was to provide everything their dog needed so that when they wanted to pet it or play with it, the dog was ready and they didn't have to think about it otherwise. 
when you see rich old retired people zooming around in golf carts in their gated communities. Often those carts are not owned by the retirees. They are leased and maintained by companies set up explicitly for that service. I know a guy who belongs to a charter air club. It's only for people who live in our county and who have second homes in a specific gated community in another state. They can bring their dogs on the plane too. Earbuds that are custom molded to your ear for greater comfort and excellent nose isolation. Not that expensive actually, but still rather unheard of. I believe Etomotic are one brand that does them. I worked for a guy who flew in, housed, covered all expenses and paid salary to a dude who exclusively restores vintage teak yacht decks. He's super in demand too. Schedule filled for multipliers. Ball bearings. A guy I went to high school with now runs the family ball bearing business. A few government contracts and it's recession proof. While he's rich, he's a nice down to earth guy. I always wonder if super rich people peel their own tangerines or if they have someone do it because it's so mundane and they could be doing something more productive instead. Not me but a family member they had for huskies and they hired for separate caretakers for each dog. This was in the tech boom way before crypto. They are broke now. My partner's brother is a tennis coach and one of his clients is getting taught to cook by a Michelin star chef just for fun. I think he said it was 20,000 pounds. Someone I know works for a guy who had his three hounds sent to Ireland to be trained over a period of months, then sent back. Fixed pace operators. They're basically all service private airline and meeting terminals for the Uber wealthy. I know someone who hired an interior decorator to decorate their daughter's freshman college dorm room.